normally you would just come over here and interrogate him. I'm just going to do this. Because I know where to go. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to the Deus Ex. I don't have the name memorized yet. Hold on. I did this in the last video. I love that I'm doing it again. Welcome back to the Deus Ex Human Revolution. Give me the Foxiest No Og pacifist run. Last time we fought our first boss and it actually went really well. It might not have been clear because of my editing process, but I did manage to beat that boss in one attempt. And I'm super proud of that. <laughs> a really low quality cup anyway we're back in serif industries we're gonna also go come quickly talk to pritchard because he had something he wanted to tell us he should just be in our office here yep hey pritchard what's up what do you want as much as i hate to admit it i need your help that signal you shut down in drv territory it's been active for almost a year you're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Sarah? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access and was streaming a lot of data through it shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Hmm, okay. So that's a little suspicious for sure. So we're going to hopefully confront Seraph on that. See what he has to say for himself. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. We're gonna stay calm. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart. But it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Let's question him a little bit. I'm curious about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. Do you think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Anytime. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? 
I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? <laughs> I what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh, I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now, but he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. All right, we gotta defend that, though. You went behind my back on this one, boss. With all due respect, you hired me to keep this place secure. But I can't do that if you are not 100% straight with me. Why are you getting so defensive? All I'm saying is we should be looking forward, Adam, not back. Right now, this company is on the brink of something phenomenal. Something that can change mankind forever. And there are a lot of people out there who want to see us fail. I need dedicated warriors to help me win this. I never told you, but Frank wanted me to subcontract our physical security needs to an outside PMC. I chose you because I know how important loyalty is to you. I think we gotta just keep defending it because despite the fact that he's like, we need to stop focusing on the past and look towards the future, the past is kind of affecting the future currently. And it's all because of the fact that he left the back door open and didn't tell head of security about it at all. Adam, are we done here? What? No. I think I proved myself today. And the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because the data you streamed through it could have been accessed, backtraced, and stolen by the men who attacked us. Our enemies might still find a way to hurt us with it. First of all, I wasn't questioning your integrity. And don't you think you're being just a little bit paranoid here? Everything I've done has been to secure a future here for you, me, Frank, and everyone else in this team. I'm constantly looking for strong people to help me do that. The very best people I can find. Because if I don't, Seraph Industries will fall. Megan understood that. That's why she insisted I hire you in the first place. We'll just keep defending. With all due respect, sir, I am trying to do my job. The job you hired me to do. The job you even brought me back in for tonight. But it feels like you're getting in the way. Especially when you start bringing Megan into this. Ah, calm down, Adam. There's no need to get defensive here. Doesn't do anyone any good. Seriously, the data I streamed is not going to hurt anyone. It was just some routine background information I needed to get familiar with after a discussion I'd had with Megan one night. It's the kind of stuff I look at all the time, and if someone did get a hold of it, they wouldn't know what to do with it. I'm telling you, we're fine. Trust me. It, he, it's, it feels like he's hiding stuff, like the way he's talking about it. Boss, six months ago, mercenaries knew stuff about this company that I didn't and used it to get past my security measures. I don't really care what kind of secrets you and Megan were keeping back then. I just want to make sure they don't endanger us again. What exactly are you implying, son? That I would endanger my own staff to cover my indiscretions? I've been willing to give you a bit of leeway here, considering everything you've been through these past months, but... Let's not forget why it is you're even alive. Honestly. Are we done here? Because we still have to discuss our next move. What a slimy dude. Uh, Seraph, God. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? 
What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Ah, Seraph. Ah, Seraph. You slimy dude. Never actually keeping me informed on the proper stuff. Seraph is, unfortunately, definitely hiding something that we probably will never really figure out. We, well, we probably will. But <clears throat> really slimy of him to be doing that. Especially to me, the head of security, who his entire job is to keep everyone safe. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that? Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hengshaw Court Gardens? It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. Alright, welcome to China, Hangshaw. The Hangshaw District, to be more exact. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so they do this in like 12 years. <laughs> um, kind of impressive. All right, so first things first, I think there is a black market shop in here. Oh yeah, he's here. Hello. You want best in the city? You come to right place. Look on computer and see for yourself. All right, you better have some good stuff for me then with that kind of endorsement. Alright, so we are here to figure out who um, the mercenaries who attacked Seraph were using as a hacker, I believe. So, we're going to head to the address that we were given by the now dead mercenary. See what he was hiding. See if he's got any information for me. He's a lieutenant and he doesn't know that, huh? Okay. So self mode engaged. Let's let's do this. Hello. Oh. Oh you noticed that. Oops. Yeah. 
Okay, I actually want to test something. Close that really quick. I have two grenades, so let's see if this works. Oh, holy crap, it did. Okay. Just run. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Okay. Smooth. <laughs> Nothing to see here, ladies and gents. Okay. All right, we just got to get into this computer. He's also got a nuke virus and a few other ones sitting around. Hold on, I want to grab these. There we go. All right, let's quickly hack in. WTF, you do, Windmill. Never seen Dragon Lady this PO'd. Bell Tower is heading your way. Safety's off. Suggests you get, get out now. Uh, Windmill Hive Master, you there? Pick up, pick up, please. Mr. Van Bruggen, this is a surprise. No time for chit chat. Job offer still good? Depends what you do. Airy? What? I'm pay what I'm paid to do. Only this time, clients aren't happy. She never is. So, you'll arrange with HK? Might take some time. Do it. Then. This Saturday, the Hive will be celebrating 15 years of Night Bash. Free champagne from 7 to 10. Get word to Pritchard Malik. The hacker who's been attacking us goes by the handle Windmill. Real name's Ari Van Bruggen. Bell Tower's been brought in to arrest him. Arrest? Or get rid of? Either way, he found out someone was gunning for him and took off. We need to find him. There's a nightclub near where I dropped you called The Hive. It's notorious in black market circles. If this Dutchman is running, his first stop will be there. I'll have a chat with the owner. All right. Now we got to head to the hive. So as far as I can remember, Tongue has some kind of connection to the original games. Um, well, the first one, at least. I don't exactly remember what that connection is, but there's a connection of some kind. I'll uh, put it up on screen in a very shortened format for you to read since I don't remember and don't really know this is actually like the only ASX game I've really played oh no don't tell me I left my purse in there with May hey mister you think you could go in there and pretend to be a customer it might break up the fight sir I told you I am not getting arguments not for for this our customers would pay much for the services of an augmented girl. You can make a lot of money. Then tell customers to get themselves augmented, and they can go fuck themselves! I'm sure some already have. May. No! And of May, you have a customer. Get to work. Hmm, okay. May, what's going on? You're not a customer, are you? What makes you say that? The way you move. Your attitude. And what's my attitude? Police. Or soldier. Someone on business. So why are you here? I heard your argument. What was that all about? They want me to get augmentations. For the customer's pleasure. It's sick. I quit before I ever let them touch me. Sounded like they don't consider it an option. They don't. I am lucky, I guess. I've been here the longest. It has advantages. But the new girls, they're not so lucky. What do you mean? They are forced to get augments. It's very bad. One of the girls who work here, Ning, she has been gone for days. I fear they took her and will force her to get augmented. You seem, you seem like a good man. I am desperate. Please, can you help? I can pay you. Sure. Okay, I'll help your friend. Thank you. I knew I was right about you, Mr. Jensen. Mr. Jensen, I fear this little time. You must find Ning before they leash her with augments. Leash her? Yes, they call it that. They leash their girls with augments to keep them under control by supplying neuropazine. I do not know where they keep Ning, just that it is somewhere in Dagong district. A specific location would help. I tell you, I do not have one. But there is a bouncer here, Tran Li. He works with these people. 
He will know where Ning is. He goes to the roof to smoke often. Look for him there. You might be able to convince him to reveal the place. Okay. Got it. All right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go talk to um, Chun Li. Wan Li. Um, normally, normally, you would just come over here and interrogate him. I'm just going to do this. I know where to go. <laughs> the only issue is here. I'm not super sure how I'm going to deal with these guys. So what I'm going to try and do here. Nope. Knock that guy out. And then toss that in. Nope, that instantly makes them hostile. Okay. Since the grenade didn't work, what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna quickly take this guy out. Wait for them to notice. I should be okay if I'm sitting here. Okay, this guy's gonna. Knock this dude out. And then quickly knock this guy out. Alright, and no one is the wiser. Anything on you guys? Got a pocket secretary. 5377. Alright, and here's Ning. Who are you? Your friend May sent me. She said you were in trouble. Are you hurt? Me? Thank God. No, no, I'm fine. They didn't touch me. Not yet, anyway. You hadn't come, though. How did you find me? I looked around. I can be persistent. I... I have to get out of here. You sure you're okay? Can you leave here on your own? Yes. I... Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you so much. I need to go. I need to get out of this city. I need to get away from that monster, Chan. Tell me. Tell her. Thank you. For everything. I owe her. I owe you both my life. Alright, so we have Ning, so let's head back and tell me the good news. Ning, did you find her? Yep. I did. She's safe, but running. I think she plans on leaving the city. She always is a smart girl. I'm glad. I will contact her to make sure she is safe. As promised, here's your payment. If you want more, I have another task. Something suitable for a man of your many talents. Are you interested? My interest would depend on the task. By now, I'm sure you heard of Diamond Chan. He is evil man who feeds off the pain and misery of this city. If we are to stay in peace here, he must be taken care of. You want me to kill Chan? Yes, but you must make it look like an accident or suicide. Uh, I gotta find another way, unfortunately. There has to be another way to remove Chan from the picture without resorting to murder. There is. I have access to certain stimulants. If Chan was caught with them, he would no longer be a problem. Meaning I could plant drugs on him? Not on him. Some way in his apartment will be enough. He may be there though. So knock him out, leave the drug, and come back here to me. I have a friend. He works with the police. I'll contact him and he'll make sure Chan is arrested. All right, sure. I'll do it. Good. I'll give you the address of Diamond Chan's apartment. It is on one of the nearby rooftops. Lower hand side is a dangerous place. Simply knock Chan out, then drop his body into the alley below. Gravity will do the rest. But if you wish only to get Chan arrested, take these drugs. Plant them somewhere in his apartment after you've knocked him out. When you are done, return to me and I will contact my friend in the police. He will do the rest. All right. Got it. Got it. Mr. Jensen, remember not to cause any wounds on Diamond Chan that make it look like murder. 
any suspicion will bring us more trouble from his friends. So no tranquilizers or peps, which means strictly hand-to-hand -hand submission shouldn't be a problem. That is good, yes. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. I will wait here. All right, so unfortunately that's going to make it a little harder to get to him. That's fine. We'll head to Lower Hangsha and knock him out and plant the drugs. Okay. Knocked him out. Nice and easy. Let's dash some drugs. <laughs> Where? There we go. Take his gun too, why not? I'll sell it. Okay. Alright, nice and easy. Has Chan been taken care of? Yes, ma'am. I planted the drugs and left him unconscious in his apartment. Your friend should have no trouble with the arrest. I will contact him immediately. Thank you. Just glad I could help. You saved us, Mr. Jensen. Money does not feel like enough thanks for what you have done. But here's the payment promised. I hope you will be satisfied with it. Yep. Very much so. Wei? Jian? Is it May? Do hala. Ta zhuo la. Si. Xie xie. Zhu li hao yun. I just made the call. That's all done. I'm going to quickly sneak over here cuz I remember correctly. There's an item over here we need. Hive is a member's only club, Lao Wai. Without a membership card, I can't let you in. You telling me I gotta pay to get into this dive? We've got a reputation to keep. Can't let just anyone get in here. Just anyone with the money. No pay, no play. You want in or not? A thousand credits, I can afford it. Here, take it. Thank you, sir. Here is your membership card. Welcome to the Hive. I'm sure you would enjoy our establishment. You work here? Yeah. You could say that. Good. I need to see your boss. Really? Well, I'm sorry, Guaido. Mr. Tong Zi Hong sees no one today. Look, I didn't come halfway around the world to take no for an answer. Do us both a favor and tell me where he is. Or what? You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think Mr. Tong do for you anyway? I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. You know him? Never heard of him. What'd he do? Steal your girl? Owe you money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already, because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need... help. So stop wasting my time, and take me to Tong. You've got it backwards, boy. You're wasting my time. Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. He's got bigger things to worry about. You expect me to fall for that? Small timers don't attract this much attention. They don't have bell tower soldiers staking out their apartments. Van Bruggen's pissed off somebody big. And there's no way Tong's going to ignore that kind of development in his town. You're smarter than you look. Yeah. Tong is keeping a close eye on things. Like you said, he's no fool. Now it's time you were leaving. Go back to your own country. There's nothing for you here. If it's not obvious, this is Tong. Give me a break. I've been on this island long enough to know that Van Bruggen can't leave without Tong's help. He has to be hiding in Lower Hangsha somewhere, and Tong can tell me where. Here's how little I care about what you know. We have Van Bruggen. And we're keeping him somewhere safe. It doesn't matter whether you have that information or not. Because you got no idea what to do with it. You came here with nothing. And now you know more than you deserve. 
In return, all you give me is a pain in my ass. It's time for you to go. Or else. You say anything to get rid of me, won't you? There's no way Tom can hold on to Van Bruggen for long. Not with the kind of resources his enemies are throwing into the search. He'll be dead within a week, and Tong with him. Unless somebody, namely me, takes the heat off, and soon. The only threat to Tong's lifespan is if I let you in to talk to him, and you bore him to death. Get out of here, while you still have the breath to bore me. What can I get you? I'm looking for Tong. Have you seen him? Did you check the VIP lounge upstairs? He wasn't there? No, and I really need to see him. Where is he? Eh, sometimes you have to prove yourself with Tong first. But today could be your lucky day, Lao Wei. Because I just might be able to help you out with that. Is that so? And just how much is this help likely to cost me? That all depends on you, my friend. I got a problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my usual guys are available. And this problem, it involves a woman. Someone who owes Tong money. Getting it out of her is proving to be... difficult. It's a dirty job, but it might just get you what you want. You interested? Tell me sure. I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. This woman, Jaya, she's a broker. Highly competitive field in Hengsha. But without the right skills, her business wasn't doing so well. So, we helped her out. Gave her a nice social enhancement upgrade chip, so she could understand her clients' needs. Now, it's time to pay us what's due, but she says she won't. So basically, you want me to be your collector? Yes, but it's not as simple as that. The girl's gone into hiding and thinks we won't find her. But she also took her phone and computer along to keep her business alive. Not very smart, assuming you've got the equipment to track those. We don't exactly. But we know someone who does, and that's where you come in. Bao Tower set up a surveillance network around town, a series of relay antennas. I need you to hack them. Three relays should be enough for us to access the database and triangulate Jaya's position. Then I go get your money. Exactly. The first relay is on the rooftop of a four-story building in the Yuzao district. I assume you've got an info link and wayfinder package in those fancy arms of yours? I'll upload the coordinates and then contact you once you've hacked in. Okay. So, what we have to do now is we have to go through this area and basically triangulate where she's at. Uh, something you cannot do, however, is just casually go to where she is. If you know where she is. Because the game actually does Good require job, you to do these. I see you found the first relay. Now hack it and turn off its security protocols. Unfortunately for me, I have to waste three auto-hacking tools because these are all level two hacking. So I gotta hopefully either not need more of these or find more in the future, which is hopefully the case. Like, she's not hard to find either. Like, she's very close to where we are currently. But... The game absolutely demands... That you hack these stupid devices to find out where she is. Because you can just go to her apartment. Like, she is just there. <laughs> but, that's not how the game wants you to do it. So, you have to go and hack these stupid things. It's really dumb because you have to have that marker, that trigger... For her to spawn like at all because coming here without her actually without having done that she just doesn't exist but if we come over here and open the door there she is she will not be here if you try to do it the easy quick way so hi jaya who are you another one of tong's thugs well get out i told him i won't pay another credit Look, I know this is not an ideal situation, and I'm not proud that I gotta do this. But Tom's crew wants the money you owe them. Oh, you poor boy. Having trouble dealing with the dirty job you have to do? And I should feel sorry for you? Reality check, taxman. 
You're here to steal money from me. Stealing? They got you the augmentation you needed, and they expect you to pay for it. Not the most charitable thing to do, but I would hardly call it stealing. Are you really that gullible? Tongue doesn't run a buy now, pay later operation. It's more like a buy now, pay forever. Listen, I just started as a broker. Most other brokers come from rich families. They paid for arguments that give them an incredible edge in the business. There's no way I could afford anything like that through legal channels. So you cut a deal with a crime syndicate? I didn't study this hard to end up with nothing. Once I made enough money, I offered to pay for the AUG. But no, what they want is part of my monthly profits. They say they're entitled to it since it's their upgraded enhancement chip that helped me make that money. And we're going to offer to help her just so her life becomes a little easier. And we're going to offer to help just because we can. Listen, maybe I can speak to one of Tong's men. Try and get you off the hook. You would do that? I thought you were just another one of his mindless thugs. It, it's hard to properly express what this could mean for me. Don't thank me yet. I can't guarantee they'll listen. But I'll try. So I just gotta go talk to Bobby again. And hopefully he'll agree to some kind of term. And of course, unfortunately, we're not actually allowed in this building. So we gotta sneak in and out. So that's super fun. That was really close. I didn't want to say anything until it was over. What's really what can I get you? Hey, about that job? You found Jaya yet? You need to get back the money she owes us. What's it going to take for you to leave Jaya alone for good? I don't understand. Didn't you get the money? I know about the Shylock scam you're running. Get her the augment she wants and then bleed her with monthly payments for the rest of her life. I want to know what it's going to take for you to leave her alone for good. A cyborg with a heart of gold, are we? Tell you what, Guaylo. You give me a year's worth of payments and she's free. And all he wants is 5,000 credits. And that's very easy for us, so... You're too kind a man. A fine specimen of humanity. Here's your money. Now you better leave her alone. Go to make threats you can't enforce. But yes, she's off the hook. Here, take this praxis kit. It's top notch, so have fun. Wow, a proxy kit, my favorite. We can't use it. We didn't need to come here. Okay, I didn't have to come back here. That's fine. That's fun. Cool, good for her. I'm glad she got out. All right, you're coming with me, bud. Okay, now that we're back at the hive and I've learned my lesson, Bobby. You got a favorite poison? Give me a sec. I don't yeah, even need you. I don't even need to talk to you. I can just go talk to Tong. He didn't mention that. Did he? Hmm. Lost already? Oh. Did I not even need to do that? Have I been wasting my time? Holy crap. Okay, so we just saw Tong though, right? How did he get down here? There's no other way for him to get down here. How did he get down here faster than we did? Hmm. All right, Tong. You see this? Had to screw it up in the fourth. I'm just splashing my money down the pot. Your Tong. Hey, you only work that out now. Guess you're not as sharp as you think. How about you tell me who you work for? Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraph Industries ring any bells? Seraph Industries. 
Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? You still in business? Why wouldn't we be? Check the news. Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden pods. Capsule 301. Place is a rat hole, and he's useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. Yeah, not the most friendly guy. But he is our only valid source of finding this dude. So, we gotta use him. This is where the game gets really interesting because we are unfortunately not the only one who has managed to find where Van Bruggen is hiding. Luckily, though, we are the first ones to get there. Jensen, I... I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? <laughs> of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Limb Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's incident newspaper articles the police report limb details it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel you should read over everything if you can pod 9 got it i need to go contact me with any updates and thank you i really appreciate this jensen we might as well help malik if we can but for now we are going to deal with the situation at hand forget it man not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You and Seraph, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, man. Just the heck. Worst decision I ever made taking that gig. As you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. You hope to walk away from this. You tell me what you know. Down, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me. 
Especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yunru, Taiyong Medical CEO. Taiyong Medical? They're Sarah's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see? So she uses hack attacks, blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize it. No offense, but Sarah was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. And now, I got you to get it for me. Of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Well, what do you know, Windmill? I've already got an employee card. Just needs the biometrics from my passport to work. So start encoding. All shiny and bioencoded, just like I promised. Where do I find this recording? On a surveillance server in the TYM tower. But that badge will only get you into the lower city factory via their employee shuttle. And how am I supposed to get up to the tower from down here? Never said it wouldn't require a little finesse. Look, the tricky part is getting through the pangu. But you're a resourceful guy. I have faith in you. Right. And after I'm through the floof? You'll be in the upper city tower. The server you want is in the central security hub. The login and password are on this. Now, about my reward. Tie your medical man! They're here! Banner! I want that hack a day! You gotta help me, Jensen! They're gonna kill me! And that concerns me how? <laughs> I helped you out. At least give me a weapon so I could defend myself. Sorry. Seems I'm not carrying a spare. Come on, man! Don't leave me here like this! I'll do you a favor. Enjoy your nap. <laughs> not actually 100% certain on how I'm going to get out of here without getting caught. But I have to do it. That's not an easy thing to think about. So I'm going to just try some stuff and see what works. I think there is a... That have stayed... No? It's one that was in a, a way down from here, but I guess not. We as a species stepped up to make things better. Our best chance was to it. Okay. Yeah, and they're not playing around. These people are dead. I see me? What's going on? I'm not hostile. Yeah, I might need to tase this guy. No? Okay. Alright. They're not even technically looking for me, but... Safety, obviously, um... The corpses are a good indication that they're not taking hostages... Or leaving anyone alive. This is a new challenge for me, for sure. Maybe I can take out a few guys. But these are heavy armor guys. Which means I'm most likely going to need to find another route out. I don't know exactly where to go with that. You guys have probably seen me cut back here a lot. It's because I keep failing it. As I'm trying to find a way out. As I know how to do this part. But I normally don't do it this quietly. Oh, shit. 
Almost got caught. Okay. There's a door here. Okay, there's a door there. So we can use that. But I need to get in there without getting an alarm set. And then sneak through the door. All right, that worked. Okay, cool. That worked out. That was surprisingly good. So now the only issue is... What do I do here? <laughs> All right, I think we can just sneak past these guys now. Nope. How do they see me? Okay, I don't know who saw me there. That's... Or it's fine. Okay. So, with that out of the way, I think we're pretty much past the worst of it. There might be one or two guys left, but I think we're overall in the clear here. I think. Oh, there are, uh, mines in here. But they're not a huge problem. We just gotta make sure we get all of them. Okay. We are in the clear. I just have to make it past these guys. I don't remember that guy doing that. Why'd he do that? What's he doing? I have never seen him do that before. That was that was weird. I don't know what Okay, I don't know what to do there. <laughs> Alright, looks like we just gotta wait till this guy comes down here and turns around and then we can knock him out. Drag his body over here so we don't get caught and then take out his buddy as well. Gonna knock him out. Drag him back here so his buddy doesn't see the knocked out corpse. And then I should just be able to sneak past. Yep. All right. All right. We just sneak right by. And there we go. We are free. Not an easy task. Get Pritchard on the line. Tell him I need everything he's got on the Tai Young Medical Building. Schematics, blueprints, everything. That might take a while, Jensen. Yeah, well, he's got as long as it takes for me to find this Tai Young shuttle Van Bruggen talked about and ride it to their factory. Jensen out. And that's what we're gonna do. Next time. Yeah, I'm gonna call this part here though. Um, I feel like we got enough done, and Taiyang Medical is going to take us a second to deal with. So I want to do that next time. I want to dedicate an entire episode to Taiyang because it's not going to be easy, especially when we really get into it. So I'm going to call this part for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time, we're going to head into uh, Taiyang Medical and find the security footage that Van Bruggen was talking about. Until next time, bye!